Search engines have been the portal to the web ever since they were publicly available in the late 80s and early 90s. During this time, there was an ongoing battle to become the most used search engine in the world, which included the likes of AltaVista, Yahoo, Ask Jeeves, Lycos, and AOL. It wasn't until the year 2000 when Google became a proper rival to these larger search engines, including MSN. It was a moment in time where each search engine had to innovate and treat their users with respect in order to stay in business. During the 2000s, I'll be the first to admit that Google was a great product. It felt like they really cared about the searcher, and although they had majority market share, they were still keeping an eye on competition, innovating, putting customer satisfaction first, and eventually built a fluid, somewhat unbiased, and somewhat anti-manipulative search engine that the world needed at the time. But between then and now, things have gotten out of control. It's clear that they have lost their way and have built a product that tracks your every move in order to extract as much data and money from their users. This once incredible doorway to the web has now become a monopolistic portal that is attempting to control you and your family. This is not the future of search engines at all. We here at Kagi believe the future of search should look a lot different. So I want to share with you my thoughts and opinions on the future of search. There's four categories I want to talk about in this video. The first being fluidity, the second security, third reliability, and last but not least, community. Let's jump in. You might be wondering what I mean by fluidity. The portal to the web should be seamless. The obtaining of information online is becoming more natural to do as the years go by. Originally, it was typing on a keyboard, and this will be the norm for a very long time, but we're seeing more and more users move towards using artificial intelligence to assist with queries, and we're seeing more users want to search the web with their voice. Both technologies are fairly new in the grand scheme of things, but are evolving quickly and effectively. Search engines will become synonymous with your personal technology used daily and will eventually become like your assistant, learning about you and making the search for information as easy and as personal as possible via voice, text, and maybe one day, even your thoughts. Fluidity also removes the unnecessary distractions that comes with a typical search engine. Advertisements in search results will become a thing of the past. And it becomes very obvious that the search engines who show ads in their search results aren't putting the users first, they're actually putting advertisers first, which over time will distinguish trust and respect for those that implement this revenue source. Then you might be thinking, Brandon, how the hell are search engines actually going to make money? Well, this brings me onto our next category, security. User data is one of the most valuable forms of information on the planet. It provides an immense amount of understanding and is typically used by search engines to craft a personal experience. It can be used for you or against you. Some search engines typically use your data to eventually manipulate you. This is done by altering your results to show advertisements, to use within their other products that take your money or time, or to be sold to third parties who will also try to manipulate you. It's estimated that Google actually makes $300 to $400 of profit from each user's data every year. It's like the force to be used with great responsibility. And we here at Kagi have chosen not to use your data or even track it at all. This is important to us as it means you can surf the web safely and securely without fearing that your data will be used against you. We believe your data is your own, and I believe the future of search engines will try its best to minimize or completely ignore user data, but that will need to come at a price. We allow you to customize Kagi in ways that don't require tracking, such as our lenses, where you can choose an array of websites that acts as a niche search, only showing results from those chosen websites, alongside the ability to lower and raise the ranking power of websites in our algorithms with a simple press. Heck, we even allow you to block sites completely that may be written by AI robots, they might be spammy, or just show a bunch of intrusive ads. Search engines will become yours. It will adjust to your needs and taste over time with your best interest in mind. The saying, if it's free, you are usually the product, is no better example to describing the current state of search engines, or even the web, actually. And this brings me on to the next chapter, reliability. This is one of the most important aspects of any search engine. The quality of the results and the reliability of how the results are presented will alter the way we search and how information is consumed online. There will be no place for search engines that are biased to advertisers or media companies. The top results shown should be the most accurate to the search query. Nothing else, there should be no bias 
no manipulation, the search engine should be providing you with the quickest result and answer to your query. And actually, if we think about it deeper, on a deeper level, a you should be spending very little time on a search engine. If you are continuously trying to find something and find information, the search engine is doing a very poor job at doing that. It should be a simple one query ask and a one result answer. The information the user seeks should be somewhat instantaneous, highly trusted, and if used in an AI summary, should also reward the copyright owner. And this is incredibly important, and again, brings me on to our final chapter of community. What I am seeing right now, and it's actually incredibly sad, I'm seeing the decimation of the creator economy because of the overuse of AI and the very disrespectful regulation and partnerships with the copyright owner and the creator of the information. One of the large factors is that AI products are taking information from websites and preventing that website from receiving visitors from that information, removing all financial incentive to create more content, which will eventually mean that AI will have very little new content to train on in the future if creators aren't creating. And I believe future search engines, and maybe not so much in the future because we here at Kagi want to do this and we're working on it to make it a part of our product. I believe future search engines will actually pay the creators and the copyright owners of the content that they use in AI summaries. And what's even scarier is that if we don't integrate this and there's no laws around AI and taking copyrighted material and not paying the creators, what will happen is we will just move into uh, a time of internet exploration that is just owned by a handful of media goliaths. There's a great website called detailed.com that did a study on this, showing that the web is pretty much owned by just 16 media companies who obtain billions and billions of clicks a month from Google because they have somehow manipulated uh, their search engine to show that kind of content without the search engine really caring about the quality of that information. So there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now and I thought it'd be a great time to create a video on the current state of search because I believe um, we here at Kagi are building that in a human way uh, that will help the creator economy, but more importantly, help the searcher. We are a paid premium search engine, but that aligns incentives. That's like our virtual handshake. And at the end of the day, if we aren't pleasing our customers, we're gonna go out of business. So it's in our best interest to create the best search engine possible to stay in business and to give searchers, kids, families, students, business people, the best search engine possible to assist with your day-to-day -day lives and not you know, manipulate you, not track your data, not show you brain rock clickbait content. It's uh, it's a good product we're building. I know I'm a little bit biased. You can try us out for free. There's an array of packages for families, teams, individuals. Check it out. We are building some really cool stuff. And we just hit 40,000 paying members as well. So a small milestone for us, um, but we believe we're on the way to uh, 100,000 members in no time. And if this does interest you, this type of content about the state of the web, please do subscribe. I'm working on a lot of videos coming up over the coming months. So yeah, happy searching. Bye-bye.